and welcome to another edition of Arizona Express. I'm your host, Michelle LeBrandy, and joining us today is Director of the Equine Science Program, Dr. Pat Evans. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for being here. So what classes are offered and how can they help someone become a, like in the horse industry? So we have a program which is either a certificate program or a two-year uh, associate's program. And we have a variety of classes that include, that really focus on management. So uh, anatomy, physiology, nutrition, reproduction, equine behavior, which students really enjoy, um, equine evaluation, which is a class where they learn how to step back and evaluate a horse and how they're put together, and do they, are they formed correctly to do work. Uh, so we have quite a variety of classes along with an internship program where students go out in the industry and work for a semester or part of a semester. Now does this program help students become trainers or breeders? It helps them in that uh, a lot of our students are going on for four-year degrees uh, but we do have some that are going to leave the program and go out into the industry and what it really gives them is a foundation and we have many uh, students that have had horses for their whole life but maybe they don't really know how to monitor horses vital signs or how to evaluate a horse properly and we've seen that in the industry where people are really excited when we have students out and they say well I never learned that and they've been in the industry for 20 years so it prepares them with a foundation and then we want them to go out and obviously they need to get a get, do an internship get a job out in the industry so that they can use those skills and, and further develop. All right. And how do these classes provide an edge to students entering this workforce? So as I mentioned, this really provides them a foundation. It also helps these students as they're going out and um, looking for a job. If they've done an internship or when they've done their internship, they will have been involved with uh, professionals in the industry. So they will have either a potential job offer or at least a good reference for uh, their job as they leave our program or as they leave a four-year program. So it, it becomes, uh, this gives them foundation and also gives them contacts within, within the industry that they might not otherwise have. All right, well when we come back, we'll look at the facilities that these students do go to after this break. Welcome back to Arizona Express. We are here with the director of the Equine Science Program, Dr. Pat Evans. So you mentioned earlier that a lot of the students, they get a lot of hands-on experience with this program. Tell us more about the facility, Loma Vista. So Loma Vista is a private facility in the area that has welcomed our students to come out and uh, interact out there with the trainer, as well as with the horses. The students get to be involved with babies, newborn foals, right up until they're, you know, 10, 10 years of old of age or teens and all different levels of training which is really incredible for these students many of them have never interacted with untrained horses or foals before so they get to help teach these uh, young horses how to load and unload from trailers how to work in a round pen how to lunge how to be saddled for the first time we do all hands-on from the ground. Our program is not a riding program, but they learn how to handle these horses in all different uh, environments and, and situations from the ground, teaching the horses to be comfortable and quiet uh, in saddling, bridling, bathing, uh, any aspects that they might do in a real training experience. And so we're out there working with horses that are show quality horses, again, that are at different levels of their training. So students here get a lot of work. How about the general public? How can they learn more about horses and taking care of them? So as part of our program, we do encourage community members to come in. And, and many times we have community members come in that take a class or two for their own benefit. Others come in and they want to do the entire program, which we also encourage. Uh, and these people will range up to, you know, from their 30s on up to their 50s and 60s. Uh, the other thing that we've just started doing this semester was is offering workshops out in the community 
and they are evenings or day events. So far we've had two evening events that deal with dental equine care. Uh, end of November, we'll interact with the 4-H of the county and do that same event for them, just for the youth. And next spring we'll be offering other uh, workshops uh, and those will be determined as we go along. But it's our opportunity to get out there, interact with the public, hopefully educate horse owners, and also let them know more, help them to know more about our program. All right, and where can future students go to sign up for classes? So they can go to our website uh, and learn more about our program, learn more about our classes, and then they can also contact me directly, ask, you know, set up a meeting, and we can discuss how they want to pursue their degree or just classes. And then they also can meet with advising here on campus as well as admissions. All right. Well, if you're interested in finding more information, visit scottsdalecc.edu forward slash equine. Thanks for joining us today, Dr. Evans. Thank Appreciate you. it. And we'll see you all back here very shortly.